With Emblem Corin added to our ranks, each country's rings have been collected. Right. No more rings in the wild. Between us and Sombron, they've all been taken. Let's consider the situation. There are five emblems on our side. Lynn, Lucina, Ike, Byleth, and now Corin. Meanwhile, the Fell Dragon's got seven in his grubby claws. Most of them are old allies. Marth, Sigurd, Selica, Makaya, Leaf, and Roy. As well as another emblem ring his forces stole from Lethos, the Azure Twins. To gather all twelve, we will need to face the enemy directly. Are you proposing we invade Illusia? Returning to Illusia already. Yeah, that's gotta be complicated. Indeed. But that aside, invading Illusia now would be a mistake. They have a clear advantage. Seven emblems to our five. The worst case scenario is that they steal more of our rings. That's what concerns me. If that happens, we can abandon all hope of defeating the Fell Dragon. But the longer we wait to attack, the more likely it is they'll attack us. It's best that we strike first. One never wants to be on the wrong end of an ambush. But we're not ready to take the offensive. Rock in a hard place, huh? Pardon the interruption. Vander, what is it? Word from the Port of Solm. A number of warships were spotted on the horizon. Judging from the crests on their sails, they appear to be Illusion vessels. They're attacking the Queendom again? No. In fact, the fleet sails toward Firene. My kingdom! We'd better take a look for ourselves. Let's head to the Azure Coast! It's near the border, and it's got a clear view of the sea. At this rate, we'll be the first ones in Firene. It would seem so. Wonder why Zephia told us to go ahead. Our orders are to kill everyone we see, right? With this kind of head start, think of the body count we can get. We'll be heroes! Seems like Zephia's really taken a shine to us. Don't you think, Mavir? I do not particularly care. I have my orders, and I will follow them. <laughs> This is why I can't stand you. You never praise me, and you're no fun at all. I thought Chris was bad. At least he's not the boringest man in the world. <sighs> Lady Marnie, Sir Mavir. You got something to report? Two soldiers have deserted the fleet. Hmm. Perhaps they had reservations about the current strategy. Whatever. Leave them be. We'll catch up later and beat the daylights out of them. Uh, but... They took an emblem ring. What? Explain. As a precaution, we kept each ring on a separate ship in the fleet. These soldiers attacked the guard on watch and stole the ring of the Azure Twin. Warships are already in pursuit. We will take chase as well. The ring must be returned at any cost. These soldiers, what are their names? Rosado and Gold Mary. Princess Hortensia's retainers? I thought those two were behaving themselves lately. No longer, it seems. Do we know where they went? They were headed to Solm by Wyvern. All right. Turn this ship around. Take us to the coast of Solm. Ugh. We were in the lead. Those two are in heaps of trouble. We're in Solm now. I think it's safe to say we lost them. Perhaps we should pause for a moment then. I'm sure your wyvern needs to rest her wings. Good idea. Let's take a breather and then start looking for Hortensia. We have to make sure she gets the ring of the Azure Twins. Indeed. Aha! There they are! Let's seize them! Is a few minutes rest really too much to ask? Let's get out of here, Gold Mary. It's an Illusion fleet, all right. And it does look to be headed toward Firene. We have to get there before they do. That'd be nice, but look. We've got Illusion soldiers on the beach. You want to attack again, huh? I'll give you a good old-fashioned Solmic welcome. That's not enough troops for an invasion. It looks more like a search party. Divine One! 
There's a wyvern coming this way. They must have spotted us. Hold on! Rosado? Gold Mary! <laughs> Hortensia! You're not hurt, are you? Oh, I was so worried. Not as worried as I was! Oh, I'm so happy you two are alive! Nice to see you and your retainers back together again. The Divine Dragon! Watch out! Put that away, Rosado! I'm on the Divine Dragon's side now. My sister is too. Princess Ivy as well? If you're being held against your will, blink three times. I swear, it's not like that. I wanted to join them, so I did. I made this choice for Illusia. Question is, as my retainers and my friends, will you join me? All right. If this is what you want, then it's what I want too. Whatever banner you're under, I will defend it with all my might. Good. I knew I could count on you two. Um, Divine One? Sorry for drawing my weapon on you. Here, this is yours. Is this... The Ring of the Azure Twins. We stole it from the ship we were on. Thank you. Good going! <laughs> I hope my dazzling abilities do not blind you. This is just what we needed. Restore Calm, Emblem of the Sacred. Finally, I am returned to your side. My name is Erica. I raise my sword in hopes that peace will come to this world at last. I know we can depend on you, Erica. Now, which of you should I give this ring to? You're both to thank for bringing it here. You ought to give it to Rosado. Rosado flew us here. He was instrumental in our escape. You were too, Gold Mary. But there's no time to argue, is there? Lend me the ring and I promise I'll do my part. It's settled. Here you are, Rosado. Finally! This is where those thieves ran off to, right? By all accounts, yes. Now, we sniff them out. Huh? We came here to hunt a couple thieves. What are you punks doing here? I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> I'll help. I should have guessed Hortensia's retainers would seek your forces out. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll go first. Over here. <laughs> Cuteness triumphs. week. Join me. I'll change the future into hope.
I'll go first. <laughs> Allow me for fear and aid. This is what I trained for. Ready yourself. Alas. I withdraw for now. The Illusion soldiers have fled. Marnie and Mavi are too. Now we can head to Firene. Yes, right away. If those ships made landfall, then my people are in danger. Listen! <sighs> yeah! Hello! Hey! Yeah! You see. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my. Breeze. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Almost a shame we'll arrive in Firene soon. I'm surprised you came with us, Sepia. You're so loyal to Papa. I figured there was no way you'd approve of this. Oh? Well, your father is my master. But lately his orders have been somewhat concerning. I know exactly what you mean. He thinks nothing of killing people. I have the same blood in my veins, of course. Maybe it's natural people mistrust me. Oh, Lady Vale, no. I heard about those awful things the Divine Dragon said. That you killed Lumea? Stole the rings? If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word of it. After hearing who your father was, the Divine Dragon probably said that to hurt your feelings. Hmm. I've decided I won't harm anyone. Ever. So... I'm not going back to Papa. I don't want to destroy this world. How kind-hearted of you. If you two really want to help, then after I've cleared up this misunderstanding, will you help me find my sibling? What a silly thing to say. You are Lord Sombron's only child. You have no brothers or sister. That's not true. We've met. Look at this. How beautiful. It looks like a dragon stone. It is a dragon stone. A thousand years ago, I was crying, and one of my siblings gave it to me. I remember it well. Even though I can't stay with you, I'll always be your friend. If you're sad or lonely, 
Remember, if this stone is intact, that means I'm still alive. As you can see, in all this time, it hasn't even cracked. But that means... What does that mean? It means my brother is still alive. And I'm going to find him. Perhaps with his help, I can convince Papa to end this horrible war. <sighs> Sophia, is something wrong? No, I'm just so... moved. After we've finished our business in Firene, Gris and I will help find your sibling. Thank you. I've been looking on my own this whole time. You two will be a big help. Look, Lady Vale. Fear an A on the horizon. Why don't you take in the view? Maybe reflect on what you'll say to patch things up? Good idea. <sighs> Another one of Lord Zombron's children survived? First I'm hearing of it. I don't understand. They all perished in the war a thousand years ago. All of them except Lady Vale, who was too young to fight. I watched it happen, Gris. Watched as each and every one of them met their end. Unless... No. What? Remember something? It's only a hunch. But if I'm right, we may have a problem on our hands. Good thing we heard this before she fell asleep. Yes. After all, once we've gotten to Firenay and uncovered the truth, she will never awaken again.